Hey, what's going on everyone? I recently bought a ton of video games from this store, Game Exchange, where you can get like a lot of old stuff. So, I got this game for like really cheap, and Wario. let's play it. Yeah, Wario, what he said. Okay, so I have I played this game once when I rented it from Blockbuster. And as we can see, um, wow, spoilers much, Jesus. Christ, like, come on. Save data four. Let's start. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, this is a fun little game. It's a Wario game. I never played the original Wario Land games for, like, I think it was the Game Boy titles. But, you know, one day when Blockbuster was still a thing, I rented this game. And I kind of fell in love with it. It was really cool. It's like funky and quirky, and it's got some really, really great animation. And a really simplistic plot, which I love. It harkens back to the old days of, you know, classic platforming. I grew up with the SNES, but any of you guys who played like NES games or, um, what is it? The, uh, you know, Super Nintendo games or any of those old things, you know, they're really, really tough. And so, I like that. Damn, I forgot how awesome this art style is. Like, check this out. It's like straight up anime. For like, this dinky little video game. Like, it, I, don't get me wrong. It's not a high quality, like, game by today's standards. But I think by nostalgic standards, I think it's fantastic. And even by today's standards, because I'm a sucker for nostalgia, I still think this game is like, awesome. I really, really enjoy it. I really enjoyed playing it the first time I played it, so I think you guys will like it too. So there's no real voiceovers as you saw, like, they'll just make grunting noises and then subtitles will pop up, but I forgot a lot about this game's art style, like, it's really, really well done, like, look at this! This looks like a straight up TV show! Package for Mr. Wario. Oh god, his teeth! Whoa, that's a, it's quite the package. Okay, so we had like a pirate, she like infiltrated something, stole something, and then like big pirate man on the viking ship of Hades got like these little people under his spell or in a cage or something. Game stuff's crazy. Okay, so whatever she stole, she sent to us. And it looks like we got some magic, we got some crazy stuff. Ooh. Oh, don't do that, sir. Please, you must save her. See this terrible pirate, the Shake King, he attacked us. <laughs> Wario is, like, not amused. He invaded our home, the Shake Dimension. Whoa, he's, like, pretty badass looking. I managed to get away, but all my dear friends were captured. And that's the brute. And then that brute stole the Shake Dimension's greatest treasure. <laughs> and Wario's just like, treasure, I'm in. Alright. Uh, yeah. It's a magic sack that never runs out of coins, no matter how often you shake it. I, I love how this is, like, the necessary plot device to incentivize Wario to even enter this area. But yeah, so, this magic telescope can take us into what's called the Shake Dimension, which is the world depicted on that weird artifact that that pirate lady stole. So, we can go in there and just collect treasure, which is pretty awesome. It's very Wario. Yeah. You see, I always had a big thing, a big knack for collecting treasure in video games because one of the games I started with, that booty, man. One of the games I started with was uh, Spyro the Dragon. And I think that like ingrained this treasure hunter's sensibility. Like I, I can like play any game that just involves going around finding gems and stuff. So, you know, big reason I can be something of a completionist I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to be a completionist with this game because it is really hard to complete. Like, some, some of these treasures are absolutely insane. So I'm just going to play a casual run of this game because it's fun. And the art style is so awesome. I am 100% in love with it. It kind of reminds me of this game that Ross on Game Grumps played recently called, uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, like, it feels a lot like that. Not just because of the, you know, the maritime theme, but 
all this other stuff. So we gotta beat the bosses of the five continents. You see, this is a, a game I love. It's simple, straightforward, platformer, with some fun stuff. All right, so let's let's do it. Save Queen Merelda. All right, Captain Syrup. Also, I'm pretty sure Captain Syrup is a character that Luigi finds in the Paper Mario series. I, I think like in his like Waffle Kingdom thing, like this is a thing that he ends up doing. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, we got all this. Grab treasure off the ship. So this is like a tutorial level, so we're just gonna go through it as soon as they let us play the game. So let's do all of this. Okay, once you've rescued a Murphle, get back fast. Now we're trying to starting gate. You won't be able to take the treasure you found with you. I'll leave it to you. See you around, handsome. Okay. So, um, yeah, the the animations on the characters look really great. Look at Wario. Like, I think this game is so damn polished, you know? So I can jump with two. Easy enough. Also, I love this game is like it's a Wii remote Wii Mote only game. So I, I think that's really a really good touch. With one, you can do the side dash, which I think is a classic Wario move, right? And you can enter pipes, just like a la Mario, and kill that thing. Oh, I forgot to grab him. How do I grab stuff? Whoa, that's that's a weird ducking. <laughs> Look at that. I blub. I'm a blubber. Okay. Uh, whoa, okay. Um, no, not that. Ooh, cool. I can press minus to... Oh, look at these little missions. Nice. Bandanero. Okay, that's what the enemies are called. How do I grab? I forgot how to grab. I don't remember. I'm, I'm sure the game will tell me later. Okay, so I can go up that pipe. Let's see what's up this one. Think. Ooh, treasure. Yeah, so like some of these treasure chests, they have like really fun stuff like Merfle Syrup. Okay, that's not really fun, but they have some pretty clever stuff in these treasure chests, but eventually they get really hard to find, and I, I'm sure I won't be able to get to every single one of them. Oh, and the music! The music's awesome! Oh, gosh. I'm feeling this game. It's so... It's just such a classic feeling game. And I did that without even following the instructions. Oh, so I just... Oh, he picks up automatically and I can shake everything out. That's good. No! Oh gosh, you do not want to just ram a coin sack because then you'll you'll just bust it without being able to shake all the goods out of it. So he'll automatically crawl under stuff. And let's Oh, I can't shake that. Oh, so when you're holding stuff, you can aim. Oh, and I got to angle the Wii mode. Okay. There we go. Easy enough. All right. Oh, cool. So if I hit it again, all right. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty straightforward. I like that. Let's go. Throw that. And we got six-week-old curry. That sounds delicious. Okay. I wonder if I can jump off his head. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's let him get some higher. Oh, that was. Wow. Mario has a lot of good jump control. I wasn't expecting it to give me that. All right. Collect 10,000 coins and defeat the golden enemy. I think we can do all of those. So if he's dazed, we can like hold him tight and well, no, dang it. Okay, let me jump on him again. There we go. Okay, so I can hold him close and look at him. I can give him a little smoochie. No, uh, we're gonna shake him. We're gonna wring him out. There we go. And garlic is healing stuff. Whoa, that is some crazy garlic. All right, so let's just throw him and step on this guy. I'm gonna try to get that coin. There we go. I don't know if I can't get the 10,000 coins anymore because... Oh, whoops! I don't know if I can not get the 10,000 coins anymore because it looked like I kind of uh, messed up with that second coin block that I had. Oh, well. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I forgot about this one. How do I do this? Do I hold it? Oh, no, I just gotta shake it. Yeah. And he just... <laughs> Destroys the ground, great. Okay, garlic. Oh, this one's not as crazy. Um, just throw him. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah, that's gonna be a big thing. There are a lot of cool like platform puzzles in this too that you can do. All right, I think I gotta throw him. I think I gotta throw this at him or something. And go. Yeah, I got him. Sweet. Oh, I want that. I want that. Give me your money. Yeah, that's right. All right, so far so good. OK, 
Okay, this seems straightforward. Oh, wait, no. It wants me to do this. I'm pretty sure the other thing logically would have broken it. Just saying. Just my two cents there. Okay, and then you can get, like, a meteor smash if you do it from up high. But first, I want to step on this guy and see what he's got. I swear, some of them have coins. Whoa, crazy garlic. Okay, throw him. How <laughs> they just, like, pop disappear in a plume of smoke? All right, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, and he stunned. Yes. Okay. Poor guy, <laughs> the sounds they make. Um. Oh, right, I forgot about this. It's very sonic to me. Okay, and I believe you can change directions. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and you can, like, go up. And big jump. Ooh, I want that. Yeah. Yeah, so he's, like, a little... He's like a, a cra he's the craziest cartoon character. He's like, you know, I think it's like, I just realized Wario is like pretty much Mario. It, I mean, like, of course, like, yeah, the whole doppel doppelganger thing's there, but he's like Mario if he like put on the mask from the mask. Like, that's totally a thing. It should t totally be a thing. Whoa, sir. Mr. Sword. Wow, jeez. <laughs> Play a replay of that. That looked like the most painful thing. Oh, cool. A fickle compass. <laughs> I love how it's a fickle compass. Like, it doesn't tell the right directions. Okay, I would end the episode off now, but I want to finish this level at least. Oh, maybe you'll have some money. Whoa, no, you'll just have, like, the fattest wad of garlic ever. Okay, let's take him with us. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think you can take things with you. Okay, and you can change directions, like I just demonstrated. I'm ahead of the game. Literally. Alright. And this is what's going to happen at the end of every game. You're going to get an intruder alert, and then the timer will happen. Sometimes it's really difficult, too. But, and I also love, like, you get a crazy version of whatever the game's music was. Like, whatever the, the level's music was, you get, like, a crazy version of it that plays. And it's super fast and intense and nerve-wracking and awesome. And so you have all this time to collect, whoa, other stuff. But you don't need to collect everything. In fact, you want to prioritize getting back as fast as possible. But I want my money. You know, I want my monies. Okay, and it looks like I'm not going to break that 10,000 goal. I'm sure there's an easy way to do it, but... Whatever. Whatever, man. I'm sure there's some, like, hidden nooks and crannies that I didn't get to, but... I'll be that. And so, yeah. So results screen, yeah, that was the only one I missed, the 10,000 coins. Board the sweet stuff. Okay, but we got all three treasures, which is pretty good. That's gonna happen. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not gonna do every mission, and I'm not gonna do every treasure. But I'm gonna definitely try to do as many as I can. And you know what, if I went back into this level, I could probably figure out how to get the 10,000 coins. But it's those little things that always irritated me in platformers. On the map screen, it would show you your progress, and you'd just be like, damn, I want that middle star. But eventually, it's going to get really hard. And the percentages, oh, God, it's so classic. But that's Wario Land Shake It. Hope you're as excited for the ride as I am, and Wario definitely seems quite excited, but we'll continue more next time. Peace out.